all right welcome to my channel if you are not subscribed hit that subscribe button right now and let's get started in this pretty quick 10 minute tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this kind of terrain in under 10 minutes so what it does i've created this uh, height map and applied it to my terrain in unreal and i'm using a smart material from unreal asset store to create this different level so we are up in the mountains you have a lot of snow you have uh, some rocks covered in snow and when we go down the valley you can see that the terrain is changing and of course the temperature are rising so we have uh, another rocks we have some foliages over here we have some different uh, textures on the ground and if we continue going down let me just show you this amazing view pretty quickly you see all the shapes all the details in this terrain and you will learn it how to create it in under 10 minutes right here I'm down the valley and we have more foliages we have more rocks with different shapes this is my destination my cube where I'm going to reach and let me show you these little puddles with mud around them let's go to my destination my cube and let me show you the view we have this beautiful mountain over here the sky another mountains that are less in height and here are some more puddles and some more mud some effects on the puddles let me make another final look on it how it looks it looks pretty believable so let me just stop the play button and show you in unreal engine how it looks so this is my terrain that i've created you see you can have uh, snow on the upper side of the mountain based on the height then we go down here we have this rocky terrain and at the bottom of the valley we have all the foliages over here and my destination of cube all right so the first thing that you need to get is you're gonna need to get the mw auto materials from the unreal asset store and in the folder of uh, materials landscape and there are two materials that you can apply on terrain you can of course tweak them experiment with them but this is not the purpose of this lesson so how do i connect the materials i select the landscape just drag the material over here and right now we have a desert desert material again with a lot of details over here some scattered rocks some sands and on the upper on the height you see these rocks and if i drag and drop my previous material we have the snow and everything is looking great so this is the first step you need to have those materials you can find link in the description of the video and the next step which is the most important is how did i create such details in such a short time well i use this program called world machine here you can create uh, terrains based on nodes just like substance designer or any other program which is node based maybe blender but i prefer world machine so let me quickly show you how you can create very fast a terrain i'm not going to explain all the properties in world machine because they're endless you can create different nodes you can connect different stuff but first let's go and create a pretty basic terrain go into generators and click on advanced plugin just drag with the left mouse button right click to disable it and here on the left you see we have already have some kind of terrain if you want to modify it double click on your plane noise and here you can find a lot of settings from here you can have different presets if you want canyons if you want uh, wrinkled terrain but i'm gonna choose the standard settings and from here you have a lot of settings that you can play with so i'm gonna choose i'm gonna leave it here eight kilometers i want mountains and I'm gonna start playing with all those settings so let's start and create some pretty cool looking shapes 
I'm going to tweak the middle elevation like this. I'm going to tweak the stiffness. Or you can use random seed over here to create different shapes. Let's try this one and tweak a little bit the settings more. Just like that, maybe let it level, something like this. Here in the customized fractal profile, you can add different octave. So if I add this one basic, for example, and if I start uh, choosing different styles, you can create more effects on it. You can create flat middle, you can uh, select the strand on it. Let's say 125. All right. So this is my first node with the advanced fractal perlin. My second node will be in my natural tab. Here you can have different natural effects. The first one is coast erosion. You can create waters, you can create erosion effects, you can create snow, thermal weathering, etc. What this does is this is basically, for example, if uh, you have uh, passed like 1000 years and all the weather, the snow, the, the wind, uh, the rain affects uh, the terrain and creates erosion. So I'm going to select the erosion effect and I'm going to connect my prim primary output to my primary input in the erosion. Again, I'm going to double click and I'm going to start tweak the erosion effects and look on my left side to see how the effect applies. And I'm going to erode my terrain, maybe like this. You just need to experiment with the settings. So this is pretty much about my erosion. Here in this tab, you can find a lot of parameters that you can connect and create different kind of terrains. But I'm showing you a very basic one. The next step that we need to do is we're going to need to select the output, select this one, the scene, scene view. I'm going to connect my erosion output to my scene view and I'm going to select my height output and I'm going to place it here on the nodes. I'm going to select my output here to my input. So with the selected scene view, you can go to the 3D view, click F8 on your keyboard and you can observe your created uh, terrain here in 3D, but it looks too blobby. So what you need to do is you need to press this green sphere build and it's going to start building your terrain. And now, as you already see in front of your eyes, we have the terrain ready. And how do we export it and import it into Unreal? Here in the height output, just double click on it, select PNG, all right, and click on select to select the destination where you want your height map to be exported. Then click OK, all right. And next we want to export, go to file, go to export terrain files and click export all. I successfully exported my terrain. And now let's go back to Unreal and how to import this terrain and apply it to our landscape. It's pretty easy, guys. Click here on your landscape editing mode, go into the scoped, scoped settings and here in targeted layers. So just right click, import from file and select your height map file. And it's gonna generate a new terrain for you. So this is the terrain that we've created in World Machine. We've basically created mountain range. And if you want to tweak and if you want to tweak your terrain, you can easily go back, click on your advanced per lane and start tweaking your settings, maybe like this. I'm just going to go rebuild my terrain. Looks pretty different. I'm going to go file. I'm going to export my terrain again, export the height map. OK, and let's load up the new one. And we have a different terrain over here. Let me just go into immersive mode. We have some lakes over here. Let me just tune down the camera speed. So let's just try it out. My new terrain. So it looks pretty good. We have different heights in the mountains. Let me just go to this part. Thank you guys for watching this pretty quick tutorial on how to create landscapes in Unreal Engine 5. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe and wait for my next content. Thank you guys. Bye.